plans for a Gold Coast cruise terminal have been refloated, with the council supporting a study into an offshore port. The Premier says she'll look at the plan, but it has to stack up environmentally and economically. This is what the offshore terminal will look like if the Gold Coast Mayor gets his way. Council has voted to support a feasibility into a $70 million facility. Tom Tate says he was given a mandate at the March election. Being returned with 74% uh, kind of tells you that um, uh, Gold Coasters uh, support that. Last year, the Premier scuttled plans for a cruise ship terminal on the Broadwater. And last week, she indicated a new terminal in Brisbane would suffice. I really don't necessarily see the need for an extra terminal on the Gold Coast. Now she's open to the idea. Two terminals in the southeast is still on the table. Uh, at this stage, it is, yes. The mayor says two terminals are better than one. If you analyse what uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and McDonald's do, it's about building next together and uh, have a critical mass. This is the same thing. All agree they want more tourists, but not at any cost. We will sit down with the Gold Coast City Council to work through any proposal that stacks up both environmentally and economically. Conservationists say the cruise line companies will steer clear of the coast. The mayor and his officers were unable to give any evidence uh, so far, anything formal, that the cruise ship industry has any interest in coming regularly to the Gold Coast. Opponents of the offshore terminal are also concerned that the construction, maintenance and regular visits by cruise ships will impact on the pristine waters off the Gold Coast. An early draft of the study should be completed by February. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Gold Coast.